Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh Out the Bed, man. Count up the dead, man. Uh, BK, the people's champ, coming to you live. Let's just get right to it, man. Money on the floor. Let's get straight to it. The Knicks have finally done what they should have done, what I think, a couple years ago when they re re up this contract. I don't even know when they re up the contract. They just shouldn't have done it. They just should have parted ways right there and just let everything go. But they finally have done what they should have done, and that is get rid of Phil Jackson, man. I mean, it just is what it is, man. A lot of people wanted this and one of the guys in my comments the other day was saying uh yesterday when i was talking about Melo seeking a buyout he said yo it ain't Melo seeking a buyout my man it is it's the knicks and it's uh Melo's agents and stuff like that Melo wants to be in new york and that's what this seems to be about because uh from what i'm from the reports that i'm hearing stephen a smith and all that Melo wants to be in new york and uh that's where he wants to be he, he was never really seeking a buyout but uh you know the only reason that he would have been seeking a buyout is because he didn't want to be there and he didn't want to play on the field jackson he didn't want to have anything to do with the organization if it were if phil jackson was going to be there and because of that amongst other things you know you got the chris tap Porzingis. they're talking about trading him and, and all that stuff i mean it it shouldn't have even come down to this point it should have been giving Joakim Noah $72 million and um and, and the failed signing of, like, with Derek Fisher being there. I mean, come on, man. It's been a disaster for the last couple of years. They got a 345 winning percentage with Phil in the front office, man. So, you know, you got Derek Fisher, like I said. You had the, uh, the failed experiment with Derek Rose. And it just looks like the Knicks were going in the wrong direction. I mean, and the biggest thing is, like I said, if you're going to get rid of Melo, fine. Get rid of Melo. Do whatever you're going to do. Trade him. He got a no trade clause, so you couldn't trade him. So the only thing that they could probably do would would have been to buy him out. And like I said, Melo might have gone for that because he just didn't want to have to deal with Phil Jackson. But I guess James Dolan said, hey, so Porzingis and his brother don't want to deal with Phil Jackson. Melo doesn't want to deal with Phil Jackson. These are two guys that actually play basketball. So what can we do? Let's get rid of the guy that doesn't play basketball and doesn't coach basketball. Like I said, man, nobody, like from what I've been hearing the last few years, nobody cares about the triangle. Nobody wanted to run the triangle. They didn't like it. Uh, J.R. Smith didn't like it. I mean, you know, he got up out of there. You know, they got him up out of there. Um... You know, I, I really, like I said, I don't know why you give Joakim Noah $72 million, but hey, that's just one thing. And, and it's just one thing after another, man. Uh, bad contracts, uh, not getting along with the players, being stuck in your own ways. And then you, you're doing all of this to influence the franchise, but you're not coaching the franchise. And you're supposed to be the master of the triangle. But if you're not coaching it, you got somebody that you thought could coach in the dairy fishing, and that just, like I said, that just didn't work out. Then what? What are, what what good are you when the players don't like you? They don't want to have anything to do with you, and then you're you're not pushing the franchise in the right direction. I mean, it's one thing when you got someone, you know, like um, like uh, Thibodeau. Some of the players didn't like Thibodeau. Uh, players don't like to play defense under Thibodeau. But one thing Thibodeau can do is he get your organization going in the right direction. I mean, look at what's going on in Minnesota right now. So, like I said, it's. It's, it's some give and take. I mean, Thibodeau had those Bulls going in the right direction. If they weren't going to do anything else, they were going to play defense. And if players don't like you because of that, then that's okay because we're still going to win basketball games. With the Knicks, Phil was like, y'all going to do what I say. We're going to make the moves that I want to make. And they still weren't winning basketball games. It just is what it is, man. Like I said, James Dolan just wanted to <laughs> – Stephen A. Smith said it best, man. James Dolan wanted to hide his ineptitude by hiring someone that was ultimately more inept than he was to, to mask all of that. But at the end of it all, man, this is a this is a day for Knicks fans to rejoice. I know my cousin Todd up in New York, he, he put on his uh, Instagram, yo, uh, finally fired. You know, uh, I'm, I'm going to have that. That's going to be my – my, uh, I don't even know what you call it, my thumbnail or whatever, man. But I don't know, man. Like I said, I knew something like this had to happen last week when you're talking about trading the unicorn, a.k.a. Por the porcine god. Like, that's just insane. Like I said, get rid of Melo. Get rid of uh, anybody else on the team. Let's just, take a, let's just take a look at the roster real quick, man. Because, uh, well, actually, yeah, yeah, let's take a look at the roster real quick. NY Knicks roster. I just want to take a look at this roster real quick, man. Uh, NBA.com. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just see what we had here and all of this stuff. Uh, uh, like, this roster, 
I don't even think this roster can win you anything. In the, in, and they gave Courtney Lee too much damn money, too, if I'm not mistaken. So what you're talking about is they already were talking about possibly parting ways with Derrick Rose. Um, and then, so now you got him, you got a few misfits, you got you got one of the Plum, Plumley brothers. Uh, it ain't Miles or Mason, so I mean, I don't know. I don't know what Plumley does. Uh, Holiday, I know we had him on the Hawks, and he, he didn't do anything for us. And we're just going to get down to the meat and potatoes of it. This man makes too much money, Joachim Noah. And uh, you only got two players that are actually worth anything that just come right to mind. And that's Carmelo Anthony and Porzingis. And you were talking about getting rid of both of them. If you're doing that, you don't deserve your job. I mean, like I said, Melo, if you if you if you, if he's unhappy and you want to do something like that, that's one thing. But the Porsche guy, come on, man, this is a player that you build an entire franchise around. I I, I just don't get it, man. Uh, I definitely understand why they did it. I know New York people are rejoicing, and you feel like your franchise has a chance now to go into the right and go go in the right uh go in the right direction. But uh, it is what it is, man. Uh, just let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I just woke up. I didn't do any research or anything, man. I just did the video because I just want to get the news out there to you guys as quickly as possible. And, uh, you know, just let me know what you guys think. Like my man said in the comments yesterday, and uh, big up to him, man. Yo, Melo wants to be here. I don't know what they're talking about, but this is the agents and this is all the other stuff. And I definitely understand Melo and his a Melo's agents want to step up and say, hey, if Phil's going to be here, we don't want to be here because we know it's not going to be favorable for our client. And, you know, they, he just didn't have – I just feel like Phil didn't want the job in the first place. And as a result, he didn't have the best interest of these of the, uh, of the Knicks at hand, man. That's just how I feel about it, man. And uh, we're going to talk to y'all later on, man. Uh, I'm out of here. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Before we get up out of here, let me know what deals the that during the Phil Jackson era happened that you just felt like he should have been fired for in the first place. That's what I want y'all to let me know down in the comments. Was it Derek Fisher or uh, was it the last straw, which was the damn Joakim Noah contract or what, man? Y'all let me know. Peace.